battle between the city of Panama City and members of the St. Andrews Civic Club as they debate who's really in control of, of their building. The Civic Club says it's theirs, but the city says it's their property and they want it back. News 13's Kelly Grossfield sat down with city leaders and the Civic Club president and has more tonight. Since 1963, the St. Andrews Civic Club has called this building home. Civic Club President James Pick has been a member for decades and says the building belongs to them and no one else. This is our building. We built this building. That's, that's the big contention right now is the, the city thinks that, that uh, they built this building, that this is their building. But no, that's not true. We built this building with the city's permission back in the 60s. But city officials issuing a notice on May 28th saying they're taking back their structure and that the Civic Club members need to be out within 30 days. City leaders say they see a new purpose for the building. Clearly it's a city asset and uh, one of the things that we could clearly see is that the organization that was managing it was doing it uh, and receiving funds for that, which is fine, uh, and they gave back to the community as well. But uh, we see this as opening it up so that all citizens, all community members can utilize it. The commission deciding to cut ties with the club, but there's controversy surrounding the decision. My issue is the lies and the deception used in taking this club from us. He says they've maintained this building themselves for years, even putting a new roof on the building a few months before the storm. Pick says had the building been destroyed in the storm, he doesn't believe city officials would even suggest taking it back. Had we not put a roof on this building, the city would be probably saying, what are you going to do with your building? It's destroyed by Michael. Why aren't you fixing it? The city wants to open the center to everyone, but Pick says they allow anyone to use it already. In fact, they're booked through the end of this year and into next year. The club plans to bring up the issue at the next commission meeting. Kelly Grossfield, News 13, Panhandle Strong.